The Majestic Theater in West Springfield this spring staged a production of A Man for All Seasons. The plot follows events in the latter part of the life of Sir Thomas More while he was serving under England's King Henry VIII. Sir Thomas More is the patron saint of statesmen and lawyers. And it turned out to be the perfect season for a fundraiser when the theater company invited the local chapter of the St. Thomas More Society to a preview performance. More on the St. Thomas More Society and its local connection now from Real to Real's Julie Bollier. We as a society would like to believe that officials working in our legal system are honest, ethical, and make choices that are in the best interest of all of us. Members of the St. Thomas More Society wish to uphold these high standards. Judge Nancy Doucette Gomez is a member of the local chapter. This is a group of Catholic lawyers and judges and probation officers, court officers, workers in the law who come together to um, talk about ethics and the practice of law. Our mission is to really have a high ethical standard and live our religious teachings through the practice of law without espousing those teachings, obviously, in state court. The St. Thomas More Society is founded upon the qualities exhibited by St. Thomas More, a statesman, author, and former Chancellor of England who was canonized in 1935. Its largest annual event is the Red Mass, a religious ceremony named for the red vestments worn by judges and celebrants, held the Sunday prior to the first Monday in October. This spring turned out to be the perfect season for an ideal fundraiser when the Majestic Theater Company invited the St. Thomas More Society to attend the final dress rehearsal for its production of A Man for All Seasons. When the Thomas More Society learned that we were producing this play as part of our season, uh, uh, they contacted us. It was uh, Judge Gomez, who was the lead person, and asked if we could arrange a special performance because they had a pretty sizable group coming. Here at the Majestic is a first for the theater, and that is inviting an audience to preview a production, the production of A Man for All Seasons, which is a play about Sir Thomas More, the lawyer for the king, and the patron saint of judges and lawyers and legislators. The plot follows the events in the later part of Sir Thomas More's life, starting with his objection to King Henry's plan to divorce and remarry in order to produce a male heir. The king wants a son. What are you going to do about it? Oh, I'm very sure the king needs no advice from me on what to do about this. <laughs> do you favor a change of dynasty, Sir Thomas? Do you think two tutors is sufficient? Oh, for God's sake, your grace. Then the king needs a son. I repeat, what are you going to do about it? I pray for it daily. The message of this play and of Thomas More is timeless, but I think the message of this play is particularly timely. The whole debate about what's happening in Washington and the dysfunctional government, and if people were to somehow live by that same standard that Thomas More lived, we'd be a lot better off. Catholic members uphold tradition by praying the rosary for justice and peace. However, membership is open to persons of all religion who are interested in exploring the rich teachings of the Roman Catholic Church. One member who has lived and worked by such teachings, although of a different faith, is retired Judge Sidney Cooley, the 2005 Ecumenical Award recipient. I was deeply honored, deeply honored, because uh, Bishop McGuire, is, I admire, he's one of my greatest dearest friends, and when he was then the bishop, and when I re it was especially meaningful for me to receive this award, and, and I cherish it, I really do. The preview night was well attended and raised more than $1,000, thanks to the Majestic Theater. I'm Julie Bollier for Real to Real.